so we were dealing with balanced equations and we saw few properties of balanced equations one was uh, you cannot use irrational coefficients but fractional coefficients can be used and the fraction whatever or whatever the coefficient may be that that should be greater than 1 by Na because if it's less than 1 by Na then it will fall short of a molecule also and you can't have fractional molecules but you can have fractional moles so this 1 by Na is the minimum uh, coefficient you can use while balancing the equations. Now we all have this notion of balancing the equation by hit and trial method but uh, I mean for simple, simple equations it's perfectly good uh, but for slightly complicated uh, equations this hit and trial method takes a lot of time and sometimes you just get fed up of using hit and trial. So there is another method which is called the principle of atomic conservation or it's called POAC. Now this method before I go into this method let me tell you that this method takes slightly more efforts but it always gives you the correct balancing. So for if you get a very simple reaction and if you don't know the balancing then you better try better go for hit and trial. But if you feel that hit and trial would not suffice to the balancing, then go for this principle of atomic con uh, conservation. Because this method will surely give you the correct balanced equation. Okay. Now, how does this method work? Suppose you have this simple equation, although I would not advise you to solve this, I mean balance this equation, even by hit and trial you should have known the balancing by now. So this simple equation is there. So we all know the balancing is 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2. Now this principle in this method, what do you do? The first step is assign a coefficient 1 to any compound, any, I mean, whatever reactant or product which is taking part in the reaction. And this compound preferably should be the most complicated. I mean there is nothing wrong if you if you assign it to any compound or any uh, any element as such but it would be easier to do the calculations if you assign one coefficient to the most complicated compound because if you just assign uh, one to the most complicated compound then that the coefficient we have got now related coefficients we have to find so if you get the coefficient for the most complicated compound then our job is much easier rather than so in this reaction rather than assigning this coefficient 1 to H2 or O2 let us assign it to H2O okay 
now what do you do is that assign variables a b c etc to all the other compounds or elements so whatever is remaining assign them coefficients a b c d whatever till whatever it goes so here these two remain so let us assign a coefficient a to this and a coefficient b to this okay now you just have to determine a and b because this is already determined as one okay so now what you do this was just the beginning of the method now you actually apply the principle of atomic con conservation which just uh, states that the number of atoms in a reaction are conserved it's nothing very high fi just states that the number of atoms in any reaction of of each element are conserved so now what you do see since you have assigned a coefficient a to this the number of molecules the number of atoms of hydrogen over here are 2a is it a 2 into a and there are no hydrogen atoms over here so let it be and what about the number of hydrogen atoms over here 2 into 1 2 and they should be conserved so you should put an equal to sign between them so did you understand this the number of hydrogen atoms on the left hand side are 2 a on the right hand side are 2 into 1 2 and they have to be equal because they can't go anywhere they have to be conserved so this these two should be equal so this is your first equation and from this you directly get the value of a as 1 now coming to oxygen on the left hand side you have two b atoms of oxygen and on the right hand side you have one atom of oxygen so your equation 2 this b would come out to be half so now you can write since you have got a as 1 and b as half you can write h2 plus half o2 gives h2o right because here you can use the coefficient half because you it, it means half a mole of o2 and not half a molecule of o2 so and from this simultaneously you can get all the other balancings like i mean just by multiplying 2 you can get 2 h2 plus o2 gives 2 h2o then again 4 h2 plus 2 o2 gives 4 h2o and so on so this is the method of principle of atomic conservation this was a simple reaction let us apply this to a slightly complicated reaction which is difficult to balance by hit and trial